the New World Order has arrived. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by Eric Bischoff, representing the NWO from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 280 pounds, Scott Hall. From the main events to the title wins to spray painting their territory, the New World Order letting the entire WWE Universe know where the power lies. An up-and-coming Lucha talent, Eddie Guerrero. Yeah, time to throw the rule book out the window. And his opponent, from El Paso, Texas, weighing in at 205 pounds, Eddie Guerrero! A former WCW Cruiserweight and United States Champion, a man who has held the ECW television title, and above all, Eddie Guerrero doesn't care if he's liked. He's not sure if he ever will care. Guerrero's career is really heating up now. Such an impressive competitor. Future could be very bright. Yeah, we know Guerrero will do anything to make sure it is. We're officially underway with a man in Eddie Guerrero who says to hell with everybody else. He's doing things his way. Mexico, ECW, Japan. Guerrero's considered pound for pound one of the best in the game. And he's ready to show that no one compares to him. Throughout Eddie's career, he has shown that mean streak. It is cruelty unleashed, and that's what Eddie wants tonight. And cool, calm, and collected, Scott Hall stands across the ring from him. Then again, when you're as big and tough as the bad guy, I guess you ain't got to worry about nothing. And as far as Hall is concerned, he already has his match sewn up. Confidence is one thing he is never short of. Hip toss! Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. Let's talk about this matchup, Corey. If you're Eddie Guerrero, what do you have to do to leave here victorious? Eddie Guerrero must attack from the air, and he needs to utilize his speed and agility to maintain a vertical base. Land your offense, keep it moving. Wards off that offense from Hall. He's putting something together. Hall dodges out of that. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal form. Eddie Guerrero is in bad shape right now. I don't want to say he's done, but I can hear the fat lady warming up. Oh, heel kick. Right on point. Acrobatics like that take a tremendous amount of cardio and strength. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. Can he take advantage? These two trading one blow after another. Oh, the reversal by Eddie Guerrero. And that was a precisely measured attack. Just teeing off with that fight forever vibe. Back and forth, neither one giving up any ground. Oh, a European uppercut. Heading back to the ring. Draped upside down in a tree of woe. How many knees are we going to see? Get in there, ref. Nothing was being held back. He thinks he has it. Great officiating. As the ref noticed, he was on the ropes. Oh, my goodness. Ah, oh, what a smash. 
That is just insulting. Oh, man. He didn't need that eyebrow anyway. Eddie Guerrero firing up on the assault. This is Eddie Guerrero creating his own opportunities with high-risk attacks. Watch out. Latino Heat is on fire. <laughs> I think we know what's coming next. From the middle rope. Oh, wait a second. Caught in midair. Four-way slam. The bad guy just ran rough shot over him there. Treated him like shoulders down. This could be it. He gets the shoulder up at two. The end was in sight. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Oh, that hurt. Uh-oh, getting ready to drop that bow. Escape just in time. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Has him up for the power slam from behind into an inverted DDT. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. He climbs back into the ring just in time. That was getting close. A manager of the Look who's on his way. A bit confusing as well, but no confusion now. He knows he's here. The distraction. Oh, nice scoop roll up for the win. And he manages to kick out in one. Those one counts getting harder and harder to kick out of. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. A steady stream of moves taking out Eddie. Now, Latino Heat has got to invent a new bag of tricks here. Elbow drop. He went right into that turnbuckle. Oh, big elbow. Just using their foot as a weapon. So ruthless. Hall is fired up. to this match being set by Hall. I can't dispute Hall's strategy right now. He is looking to do some serious harm. Taking this outside. This could be good. Arm drag, nicely done. He's heading up top. Big on the top. Whoa, look out. Took a leap of faith and connected perfectly. This could be just what they needed. close to making it to 10 right there. Dangerous spot for him to be in. Fellas, I think this one is about to end. I agree with you, Corey. A massive fall away slam. Stop gloating and put your attention back to the match. Uh-oh, getting ready to elbow drop. Oh, man, right across the chest. 
And Hall asking, who wants a piece of the bad guy? Set up in the corner of the ring. Wicked clothesline. Dropping the elbow. And the momentum is shifting away from Eddie. Guerrero has to be plotting some way to get back into this. of Scott Hall. Hall cannot be stopped right now. Oh. Scott showing off and showing out. All eyes on the bad guy. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by count out. the ropes a show of confidence from Scott Superstar using the rope as a weapon. This is uncalled for. If a shortcut presents itself, you better take it. Great reversal. Caught with a DDT. And he's already taken more hits up there than he should have to handle. He got whipped into that corner. Uh-oh. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. Top rope, putting it all on the line. He's looking completely lost as he finds his footing. Incoming! Whoa! Unbelievable athleticism. Goodness gracious. Hoisted way up high. This is going to be bad. Crucifix power bomb. The athleticism, control, and power Eddie Guerrero possesses in that one maneuver is unbelievable. One of the best weapons in Eddie's arsenal for sure. Listen to this crowd. What a feeling. And these superstars are feeling it too. He's in his grasp. And there's a neck breaker. Eddie perching himself on the top rope. From the top.
Got Hall right where he wants it. Because we're about to see the outsider's edge. And he's in a bad spot. Performance by Scott Hall. Here is your winner, Scott Hall. I have to imagine things might have been different had this been a fully fair fight, but tonight we only have this. I don't see how you can say the distraction factor didn't play a factor in this one, guys. They tried to tune out the added presence, but it ultimately proved to be too much for them. You hate to see it.